talent development framework is what every organization, every business, every person, every parent need at this time. Education has failed us. At the university, the education system is not working. So everyone needs opportunity this time to develop a talent. You see, now the COVID-19 has exposed a lot of things and uh, the things that were not valuable to us are now valuable. And so we have this opportunity to develop our talent at every level. So I'm recommending this to every parent, every uh, teacher, every manager of institution at every level to allow children, young people to watch this video or members of corporation or talent development people to use this framework to develop talent at every level in sport, in music and every capacity. And hello there, my name is Sedetu. I'm going to text, tell you something very interesting and, and that is talent development. And uh, I've, I've looked around the internet to see what is out there for people to learn from to see how they can develop your talent. But here is what I found out. There is no clear development framework for anybody to move to develop his or her talent. And that's why I've prepared after a lot of research to bring this to you to help you build your talent. And the talent development framework is very important for everyone out there. Maybe it's building a personal talent or developing group talent or developing corporate ta talent or at any level of talent development. So I do hope that you're going to benefit sufficiently from this uh, uh, talent development framework that I have presented to you today. And uh, the first thing we need to look at there is called talent basics. What is talent basics? Talent basics is simply the basic things you need to know about talent. What are the things you need to know about talent? What is talent? Talent is the natural ability to do things. Take for instance, the fish doesn't need to attend a swimming school. The bird doesn't need to attend a flying school. And so as human beings, we were born to do something very specific in a society and we came with innate ability, natural ability to do those things. The education system was here to help us to refine that talent. But the education system has disappointed us and that's why people graduate and still come out to look for work. Instead of refining what they were supposed to do on earth and go straight and satisfy it. And so you are here for a purpose and you came with a reason, you came with gifts, you came with natural endowment. And the Stalin Development Framework is here to help you refine that natural endowment, the natural gift that you have to save the world. And so I wanted to take a careful attention, take time, you know, maybe turn off distraction and make notes and see how you yourself can use your own understanding to better what you're learning today. You can agree with me that um, the most successful people in the society today, they live on talent, the high earners, they are actually living their talents. Look at great people like Mark Zuckerberg of Facebook, Bill Gates of Microsoft, Steve Jobs of Apple, and Oprah Winfrey. These are all people who carefully develop their talent and their talents are made way for them and they have succeeded in many areas or different areas of life. It is also no secret that the high earners of the world, the footballers, the dancers, the artists, and the, all these people, they live on talent. And so, just like you, if you don't have your talent developed, you're likely going to be among the low earners in the society. So talent is the main reason why footballers, musicians, movie actors, and the, all these people that are doing other things that are look very uh, insignificant, and why this is why they earn more than the university professors. Talent is development is so important that you cannot do without it. And that's why I've developed a simple talent development framework for anybody that wishes to build or develop his or her talent. And this can help you to succeed in any area of your life. And especially in developing your personal ta talent or career talent. I have set out Four key things you need to consider in this framework. Four things you need to consider in building your talents. 
One of it is discovery. The first is discovery. The second is synergy. The third is enhancement. And the fourth is marketing. You can't do without this complete four set in your talent a development stride. If you miss any of them, you will not be complete. You'll be lopsided. Your development will be incomplete. You're probably not going to make money. You're probably not going to come out successful. You may either have to still operate below a standard. Let's look at talent discovery. What is talent discovery? There are key things you need to do to discover your talent and they are such question trial and record in search what do you do you read very wide you search for knowledge you just get yourself you know open to knowledge you have to be an open learner you read very wide you study very wide study variety of music attend events uh, travel and as well go to a lot of places and get yourself you know enjoy the moment that's people what's going on in the society and then attend seminars, watch personal development videos, they're now free on YouTube. Uh, and then you meditate as well, which is prayers. I don't know how much you pray, but uh, for me as a Christian, I sit back and I take comes out some time to pray, to ask God, which I know He's a giver of life and talent, and so He should be able to lead me. And if God created me, he should be able to tell me what I'm good at and also give me the direct path on how to do And that's my belief. And so I don't know what you meditate on, but there should be that time when I sit down and you meditate on what you know and what you're supposed to know. Next one is ask question. Ask people the right question, the senior ones, people who are aware, you know, more aware of the world, who know better than you do. Ask the right question. Ask people the right and the good people. Ask good, look for good people and ask questions about everything in life. And then it's by asking questions that you get to find out what you like and what you don't like, and what you do and what you're not supposed to do. Trial, random trial of things. Try, try things. Try things you love. If you love music, come on, get yourself somewhere and sing. If you love dancing, try dancing. If you love the computer, try computing. Even when you don't have the money, borrow it, join people, you know, everything you can just get on there and try it. There's nothing like saying, oh, I wish I could do this if I had money, if I had all the time, if I had all the connections. You will not have all the connections you need. You will not have all the resources you need. So if you're waiting for your resources to be complete, I'm very sure that you will go nowhere in this society. Everyone that ever achieves something has some levels of incompleteness. And this incompleteness helps us to think out of the box. You think outside the box to bring solution. So despite the problem that we have, we still fix it. Imagine that man was supposed to go to space. There was a limitation and that was gravity. Man will never be able to get to space if gravity is still there. So man had to find a way to beat gravity before he can go to space. In fact, what about the aeroplane? The aeroplane is a great indication that people can beat circumstances and obstacles and still do what they're supposed to do. By nature, man is not supposed to fly because of gravity. Gravity will bring everything down. But man was able to beat gravity. So the problem will always be there. And so all you have to do is to sit back and think of how you can overcome these problems and move on to succeed. Next one is record. You keep a life journal to record your areas of strength, your areas of weaknesses, the things that are doing fine, the things that are not doing well. If you don't have these records about your life to see what you're doing well, what you're doing, what you're doing well, you will not be able to, you know, progress at the speed and pace that you're supposed to. Now move next to the next uh, thing to talk about today, and that is talent synergy. What is synergy? Synergy is just connecting your talents with other talent and connecting with other blessings around in a society. So what we have to do first is you have to model it. Model your talent. Seek role models. Try to look at people that you like to become like. People you have like to look like. Model your talent and see how it will look like. Find a role model in every area, in music, in education, whatever, in medicine, whatever you want to become. There will be a role model out there. Someone that has achieved something in that area. 
maybe not to the best of your intent, to the best of your plans that you have in your heart, but definitely with someone out there that has done something similar or basics of what you have done, connect with them. Next one you have to do is to fantasize it. Begin to imagine it, begin to love it, begin to express your passionate love for it. And you know, be obsessed with it. And then if you cannot image it, if you cannot see it in your heart, you can produce it. So you need to sit down and imagine how your ideal person will be. Let's say you want to be a musician. Imagine yourself on the big stage. Imagine yourself somewhere. You want to be a footballer. Imagine yourself in that big football pitch. Name the pitch that you want and always imagine yourself. Sit down in your own corner and fantasize, fantasize it. Imagine myself. I was always wanted to travel the world. I've always believed I was born to fly. And there was actually nothing you would tell me to stop me. I stand before people everywhere and tell them I was just adamant. I don't listen to critics. People say your own is too much of ambitious. I don't care about it. I still went ahead and did what I was supposed to do or I wanted to do. Next one is fine related talent. What are talent that connect to you? Let's say you want to be a footballer. Read about refereeing. Referees. Read about sports management, read about other things that connect to that. You want to be a lawyer, read about the constitution, the government, the politics, the society. Start begin to see where your talent fits in the wider world. Think of how it works. Because you're not just going to succeed in your own individual talent. Your talent needs other talents to succeed. So you need to read very wide. And seek what is happening around. How can other talents affect your own talent? How can the media, the social media, affect you as a person or as a singer? What is happening in the social media that can impact or improve or depreciate your effort or no hinder you from seeing the limelight? The next thing you have to do after talent uh, synergy is talent enhancement. Of course, you know. That whatever you're going to produce to the world has to be of high quality, especially in the world today that there's a lot of competition. So talent enhancement is very important. How will you enhance your talent? You take a training. First is training. Second is skills development plan. Third is find a favorite spot, then practice and also exercise patience. Let's take training for instance. Training, you know who's going to take formal education or informal education? Either you're going to attend the university, you're going to take a, a, a side college or evening college to get to where you have to be. You need to take the training. Education in itself was not supposed to give you talent. Education was supposed to enhance or refine talent. That was the essence of education. However, today's education does not do that. It tries to, you know, pass into people what they would never use in the society. A lot of what we learn in school will not be practiced. So when you get to school, it's better to go to school to refine your talent instead of just going to school for going sick. The next one is skills development plan. Set up a plan and break up your training into sizable chunk. After chunks, after year one, after the first year, what are you going to achieve? After two years, what are you going to achieve? After three years, what are you going to achieve? In 10 years, I'm going to sing a social stage. In 10 years, I'm going to play a social football ground. However, you need to start to and say, today I'm going to play at a social small stadium near my house. In two years, I'm going to play in a social larger stadium in my community. Five years, I'm going to play in a bigger community. And then this is how you set up your plans day by day. And then you know how you're going to start it. Next thing you do is to find a favorite spot. In, in, find that niche, that small area that is so cheap, so easy to learn, or that part that you love most in the whole part of the, the sport, or the whole part of the music, or the whole part of your training, let's say like mathematics. You want to start mathematics, you don't start from the very you know, difficult ones, you start from the simple ones to learn mathematics. That's why when you want to learn how to read and write, you have to start with A, B, C, if you're going to learn to read and write. We start mathematics, you start with counting of numbers first. You should know how to count the numbers. So you start from the basic ones and master the basic ones. That's when you give your passion towards the bigger one. And then in this big chunk of things, there will be some that will be so interesting. Do that one the most. That's with those ones. 
Do it, master it before you go to the difficult ones. Practice. The next one is practice. Give sufficient time to your practice. You cannot practice enough. Daily practice is recommended at least 15 minutes every day in your area of gifts. And make sure if you're learning an instrument, a new instrument, you're learning a new language, you're learning whatever you're learning, give 15 minutes to it every day and see what the difference will be. It's going to pay you a lot more than waiting until when you do one hour practice every week in a month and you could leave it, you wouldn't learn much. But if let's say you took 15 minutes every day for the period of one year, you will be a master because it, it sinks in, you know, and you absorb it and you're going to be better than someone who just took like one month course and then dumps it back. The lastly in this talent enhancement is patience. You need to be patient. If you're not patient, then you cannot achieve anything. Allow yourself enough time. There's no need rushing over it. If you just rush to put out something, they rush to join to become, or maybe you've seen other people you know, making money and succeeding, you haven't taken enough time to, you know, to build yourself to that person that someone can pay for. So sit back and take your time. This doesn't mean that you're not doing anything. I mean, take your time to practice. Take your time to build in the skills that you have. And then the last part of this uh, talk will be talent management, talent marketing. I mean, talent marketing. Talent marketing, we have key areas to look at. You know, the, the, key, the key selling points, the video making, social media, websites, and blogging. So we look at these areas one after the other. The first area we need to talk about is the key selling points, which apart from all that you've learned in your talent, which part have you known so well that you can let someone see it? Maybe after practicing for a week or two weeks or three weeks or four weeks or five weeks or six weeks or seven weeks, you should have come up with something that is very interesting, something that somebody out there will be interested in. And with this, you are ready to show yourself to the world, to the world. And then you prepare yourself and magnify that area, make it look attractive. Make it look as if you put the whole time of the world and like 10 years to build it. Make you look very fantastic. And then prepare to produce content. I mean, this content, you can produce a video. Maybe a 5, 2 minutes to 5 minutes or a 30 minutes video. Very short of video, you know, showcasing your talent, teaching people or practicing. It, at this point, you either be, you'll be showing people how you are practicing or how you are practicing. Or you would be teaching other people who are less knowledgeable, who don't know as much as you do, and as well, or maybe you're producing something for someone to like. And often, it's usually first one has to be free. Make it free for people to watch and to like and to follow you up. After producing your test video for people to like, allow people to edit it for you and make a very good video, and then ask for help in editing your video. Then think about social media, open social media account. You, I will recommend you go for Facebook, I recommend uh, Twitter, I recommend YouTube, I recommend Instagram for you to start with. Open this account, let it be all in one name, same name throughout all your accounts. Same picture, same logo, same banner, everything, same person. So that as people flip from one social media to the other, they can, it will be easier for them to spot you without you know, having to look for you and make a mistake. And very importantly, make your social media activity active because if you're not active, people will tend to forget you. It's just a matter of time, they will forget you. They will remember you again. So make sure that every week you have something to post every week. I recommend every week. Two, every day may be too much for you for a start, but I recommend that every week you have to put something out there for people to see. The next step you have to do after social media is to create a website. There are a lot of free website platform up there, but I would rec wouldn't recommend a free one. I want you to go for it, buy a domain and take a basic plan, maybe for five pounds per month or 10 pounds a month, as much as you can afford, and get something to start, a simple website landing page for people to know about you. Create something very cheap, something very simple, something very fantastic. And make sure that you're going for the best for everything you're going to do. Make sure that your image of high quality images. And if it's not the best, don't launch it. Take your time and launch the very best before you release it. If not the very best, I beg you, don't launch it. The next one is blogging. Blogging allows you to 
you know, to write about it, write about what you dream, that will go to your web page, your website. Start to write about music. If you're a musician, you're learning music, try to write about the music, try to write about the recent songs, try to talk about what other people are doing, try to draw attention, draw crowd to yourself. And with this, these people will become your first followers, your first fans, and you're really going to make wave if you start this way. Next one is public speaking. Try public speaking. Public speaking is very important. People can invite you to speak in events or youth events or young people events. Not that you can start, start talking to children to build your confidence on the, the stage confidence that you need to produce or to perform, perform on every stage. You need these public speaking skills. You read about it, but you still have to go out there. We know that public speaking is a very difficult thing. And um, the people were asked to take a survey and they found out that the most, the greatest fear in life is death. And after death is public speaking. So people don't want to speak in the public at all. And there's no way to develop your talent and you don't speak in the public. People will ask you questions in the media and people will follow you everywhere when you start making waves. So the earlier you start to build your public speaking skills, the better for you. Next one is review. Ask good people to tell you what they think about what you are doing. There will be some nasty reviews. Just accept them and move on. And then take the good ones and use it to refine the good things that you are doing and work on it and improve before you actually launch. Whatever you launch or even after launching, use that review to better to, to improve future production. And then move on. Just accept it. Take it. Good, bad reviews, take them, put them together. They are all very good for your development. Next thing you have to do in your talent marketing is connection. You can't do it alone. There are people out there. You need the funds, you need the people, you need the market, you need everything. So definitely you cannot do it alone. Try to connect with people who have better skills, better opportunities, people who are larger following, following in that same thing you are doing, that same area of skill and connect with them. How do you start? Follow them on social media and if possible, request to do an event with them and even request to have a meeting with them. Any ways you can to reach them, request for a visit, send them an email, try to see if you can, you know, associate with them. Try to do something that will make them to, you know, to be attracted to you. You can take your picture, you know, and paste it with the ads and try to create a, a two image, you know, your picture on one side and the ads on one side. Then you sell it on social media, just advertise on social media. People will start following up and then, you know, Try to do something, mimic them, follow them. But remember, you don't have to copy them. But try to build your crowd from people who have existing crowd. There are different ways to do it. The next one is lastly, is marketing. This marketing has to do with, you know, selling your gifts to the people. The Bible has one favorite space, a, a verse I like so much. It's the labor of the foolish man. <laughs> we read all of them because he doesn't know the way to the city. Which means that, if you have all these skills and you've done all I've said and you don't know how to market it, then you'll still be poor. <laughs> you'll still not be successful. And so you need to know how to sell your skills to the people. And um, very importantly, you can start with Google Ads, Facebook Ads, YouTube Ads, social media ads. Find people to help you. Find people to, you know, if in areas that you cannot do well. So if you don't put your skills out there, people will not know you are there. You need to sell yourself. Try to sell yourself. If you sell yourself, you definitely make the success that you are expecting. And then, um, in, in, in summary, in conclusion, I want you to learn this. That one, talent discovery is the first and most important freedom everyone should seek. Talent discovery is the first and most important freedom everyone should seek. Every other freedom is secondary and sometimes not important. Freedom from parents, freedom from government, freedom from society, they will not really help. But when you discover yourself, trust me, even in the den, even in the prison, you will be free because you know yourself. Next, the most successful people in the world are leaving their talent. The unsuccessful people, they are living for the talents of other people. They are living the talents of others. So if you discover your talents and leave your talent, people will work for you. If you allow, if you don't develop your talent, you work for some other person that developed his talent. 
So you choose one. Talent discovery without hard work is like buying a beautiful Ferrari without having a fuel to drive it. So if you discover your talent without working hard to fulfill it, to make it sellable or marketable, then you will still go nowhere. Hard work is more important than talent. There are a lot of people out there who have very little talent or very irrelevant talent, but because of hard work, they found themselves where they are today. Hard work, the value of hard work cannot be overemphasized. So you need it so much. Trust me, you really, really need hard work. And then you will not succeed alone. You need people to succeed. You won't succeed alone. Connect with friends, connect with people who are doing well in your area and believe in yourself and believe in God. And work very hard and you will surely make it. I wish you all the best. And I do believe that this presentation will make help, will help you. And if you like this presentation, I'd like you to you know like this presentation, share it, and encourage other people to join us. And this is me, Edit Tutu for Success Stories. I love you so much and I want you to follow us. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Subscribe to what I'm doing. I'm producing this video to make it free to everybody to learn and improve. If you need a coach, if you need someone to support you, I will be here very well. So just drop me an email and we will have there. We'll move on from there. Thank you very much.